What have you done before this that makes you want to take on a, a thing that's so big as Defiance, the video? I mean, you're, you're basically going up against a game that has the world as its captivity. I mean, it can go anywhere in the world, but a TV show? I mean, you're taking on a huge project. Well, I'm, I'm a big fanboy from way back. And I got a chance a couple of years ago, I was brought into uh, the Battlestar uh, Galactica prequel series Caprica as a soap opera consultant because I had, I'd, I'd put in a, couple, a number of years on uh, Desperate Housewives and I was perceived as a soap opera guy who... No chaos. <laughs> <laughs> who, but, but I was a soap opera guy who also uh, loved science fiction and I was a, a big fan of Battlestar Galactica and I knew the world, I knew all the characters and I could sort of you know, go toe to toe with Michael Taylor quoting chapter and verse of Galactica canon. So I ended up running that show after a few weeks in, uh, in, in a rather peculiar set of circumstances. Um, but it was over as quickly as it began because I was only on the last 10 episodes of Caprica. But I really kind of, the bug bit me. You think it like set you up for this? Basically? Well, it set me up in that I, I, I enjoyed my experience. I enjoyed that there were like no limits with what you could do on sci-fi. and. My, and I was developing it while I was on Caprica, and then I got a show picked up, which was a cheerleader show with Ashley Tisdale that I loved doing too on the CW. But when that show ran its course, and this opportunity came up, I really was excited. Like, kind of like your dream. Thing. Yeah, it was. It was something like, yeah, this is a little more uh, something maybe just a, 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 exercising different muscles than uh, singing, dancing cheerleaders. That's so great. So now, basically, were you a gamer before this? Uh, Way back in the day, which is like maybe like nine, ten years ago, I I played like the you know I played like you know Half Life and I played the games that were popular at the time. Uh, I then I got married, and then I had a kid, and just that just that time kind of went away and the games progressed rapidly. So I kind of found myself uh, when the when, when the Tryon game got released, I loaded it on my on my computer and I was playing it and I came in early before the writers came in because we're, we're convened we're working on season two stories now yeah. and I and I, uh, I spent like three hours kind of getting everything up and running and I just felt like uh, I had to keep looking up where the buttons were because I wasn't familiar with the Xbox control and then I was and then the writers showed up and I felt embarrassed that I'm running defiance and I can't really play the game worth a damn so I kind of put it away and just started talking to the uh, you, you know, to the writers and just sort of like kept that my guilty secret about what a crappy gamer I am. Well, I gotta say, you did say that you enjoy having no limits, so maybe that's why you're gonna do so well with this, because I mean, the MMO basically, it's the, I mean, there's no limits to a game like this, so you're gonna really put no limits on Absolutely, I, I think I think with, with, with the show, with, with the entire world, the best is yet to come, because at this point, we've just done the launch, the miracle is that we're here at all. And I think that what's, what's, what's really exciting is, now that we sort of understand how the world works, and we understand uh, the game, you know, on the TV side, we understand the gaming nomenclature now, and they understand us better. That I think as we move forward, we can really build uh, deeper and more meaningful uh, crossover elements. So I'm really excited to see how we can push limits and how we can break some rules. I have to say, we're definitely excited as well, and I hope the TV show does as great as the game. Thank you so much.